everyone. This is Dr. Nishana Jimuddin. So concept six for the day is real GDP versus nominal GDP. So before going to this particular topic, all those who have missed the previous concept one to five, starting from GDP and its related concepts, go to the playlist of this particular video so you can find the video below. And now, having said that, let's have a look into what is nominal GDP and real GDP. Before telling you the meaning of that, I should tell you what is current prices and constant prices. That will make you understand real versus nominal GDP in a most simplified manner. Now, for example, okay, your total salary is 30,000. That is called as gross value. There is something called as gross value. The total value without any minusing or any reduction is called as gross value. In this gross value, when I include something, it could be taxes, it could be inflation, it could be depreciation. The value changes. So now in this 30,000, when I include tax, TDS, tax deducted at source, income tax, it becomes 27,000. So now, 30,000 is your salary, but after taxes, you get in your hand how much? 27,000. That is the real salary of you. Am I right? That is called as net value. So now, which is more important, gross value or net value? Gross value is the, the total value. Whereas, after minusing, whatever amount comes in your hand. For example, in the context of income, it is income tax. That is called as net value. And net value reflects what? The real status of money that you have in hand, right? Having said that, this nominal as well as real, these two terms are also similar. Nominal means what? Nominal means again the gross value, the total value. When you add something to nominal, you get what? You get the real value. It could be inflation, it could be taxes, it could be depreciation. The value changes. It can either increase or decrease. That is called as real value. Now, having said that, let us see what is nominal GDP and real GDP. GDP at current prices is called as nominal GDP. I repeat, GDP at current prices is called as nominal GDP. What is current prices? Now, when the value of goods and services produced in one particular year, okay, let's say for example, 2024 the value produced in 2024 that is calculated or let's say that is multiplied by the price of 2024 then that is called as current prices in simple term for example i want to calculate gdp using current prices so now gdp at current prices means the value of total or the final goods and services produced in one year that is 2024, the value of that. You will calculate or multiply it with the price of 2024 only. So now that is called as current prices GDP, which is called as what? Nominal GDP. We are not doing any sort of reductions here. The total value itself we are calculating using the current year prices. Now let's say for example, inflation of today could be 4%. After one week, 5%. So many fluctuations and disturbances could be there in what calculation because of volatility in inflation. So in current prices, we do not take all that into consideration. Whatever is the price with the current year's prices, we tend to calculate what the value of goods and services produced in that particular year, which is 2024. That is called as nominal GDP or GDP at current prices in simple term. Now, having said that, the next one is GDP at constant prices or real GDP. Real GDP is actually GDP at constant prices. So, constant prices means when the value of goods and services produced in a country in one particular year. For example, 2024. Okay. When the value is calculated by multiplying the price of some other year not 2024 prices, but rather the price of some other year you are calculating. Then that is called as what? GDP at constant prices. Some other year doesn't mean that any year you can choose. There is something called as constant year or base year prices. In India, 
base year means reference year that is you will choose one particular year out of the certain listed year you will choose one particular year and you call it as base year in simple terms it is a reference year in that particular year the inflationary levels will be more or less normal not too high not too low not causing any problem and base year will be a year which will not have much of abnormal or economic shocks in the economy like droughts floods pandemic etc for example during covid 19 pandemic you can see how the inflation was increasing or decreasing and all right in fact it was increasing and the entire economy was suffering so to understand the real gdp of your country it becomes difficult because the value you calculate becomes difficult so because of this reason only when we calculate gdp what do we do we do not use the current prices rather we always use is what the constant prices which means we take into consideration the base year and the current base year is 2011-12 which means that it was 2004-5 in 2015 they changed it to 2011-12 in simple terms when you want to calculate the value of goods and services that is produced in the year 2024 multiplied by what or let's say when you when you're calculating it with the price of base year or constant year which is 2011-12 that is called as gdp at constant prices or real gdp why because we are taking inflation into consideration and now that inflation also we are choosing a stable year we are not choosing a year which has lot of fluctuations in the economy and now this nominal gdp is called as what that is actually gdp at current prices and real gdp is what it is gdp at constant prices and thus from the nominal gdp when you include or index inflation you get your real gdp nominal gdp does not include the inflationary perspectives whereas real gdp is what it is inflation indexed value which means that real gdp consists of inflation so now which is higher nominal or real i told you gross is always higher when you include something to gross your value becomes less and that is the net value the real value similarly your real gdp is always less compared to nominal gdp from the nominal gdp only you will include inflation automatically what happens when you include inflation in the nominal gdp you get real gdp that is why real gdp is always lesser compared to nominal gdp but real gdp is very very important to understand the true situation or the true progress of our country india's growth i hope it is very clear for you in simple terms you just keep in mind gdp at current prices will be nominal and gdp at constant prices will be real and current is what current prices means 2024 quantity of goods and services produced will be calculated with 2024 prices whereas constant gdp prices means 2024 goods produced will be calculated with a base year price which is 2011-12 is the base year so 2011-12 prices that's it and this has been done to give a very proper calculation in the context of gdp this is what you should know with regard to this topic i hope it is crystal clear for you stay tuned for more updates don't forget to subscribe the channel and also you can put out the topics that you want in the comment box as well so accordingly more such videos i'll come up thank you and jai hind